Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm? Me? I'm doing okay. It's going to be a busy, busy day for me. Let me tell you what I got going on. Uh, first, let me show you Felix and my campsite. Here we go. My, uh, my friends near Snowflake have this little postage stamp piece of ground right here. I guess you could fit maybe maybe six or eight uh, RVs here if you had to. That's about all that it'll hold. Not a good neighborhood, not a bad neighborhood, but uh, sure uh, it's sure nice knowing we got a, a safe place to, to camp. Yep, you see, you're seeing it right. I've been plugging into Ms. Gypsy every night to keep the uh, the batteries charged. It's gonna, uh, I think it got down in the low 30s, high 20s, low 30s last night. Foxy Lady is uh, raising the alarm. Somebody's outside. But uh, ran through a little bit of rain getting here yesterday. Here comes the wind. Come back, baby May Mays. There's stickers over there. Got them all in the bottom of my shoes, and I got two in, in Tucker's feet yesterday. Man, those stickers hurt bad. Hey, Martinis. You missed the last video. I know, Daddy. I just didn't have nothing to say. <laughs> Tell them what we're going to do today. You're going to get that hot water heater fixed. That's right. Y'all, this thing has white vinyl flooring, and it is an absolute nightmare to try to keep clean. It's got a few stains on it, but it's it's not tore up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, so y'all going to have to ignore my floors. But uh, let me show you. Come on, babies. Baby May Mays. Tucker, come on, get in truck. There's one. I'm two. I'm three show you what we got going on and i do plan on doing a full tour of the bigfoot it's just uh i'm not ready he's not ready y'all he's kind of picky he wants things to look nice you hear him talking talk some more tucker look at that chinny chin chin hair i like it and stuff you feeling good yeah my sickies been giving you your medicine. You've been taking it with cheese. I tried to I tried to put it down his throat with my finger. It's the first time he really ever bit me. <laughs> you hear him talk? I don't blame you, Tuck. I'd have bit me too. You're looking a little thin in the face. Or is it my is that my imagination? I, I think you're looking a little thin in the face too. Just a little bit, Tuck. But as you can see, I've got this down in bed mode. Let me show you a neat thing that Bigfoot did for us tall people. There's not a whole lot of room in here for a big man to sit. So what they've done is pull this. That's hard to do one-handed. Hold on. Okay, now I got the chair forward. I'm gonna start using this mount right here. They've got a breakaway system. Don't leak the camera tuck. Like so. And like so. Am, am I in the way? Y yes, Tucker, you're in the way. Shoo shoes. So anyway, this fits down in here better. Like so, but tall man, I gotta have that room. So somebody already thought of that. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, Tuck, I want to show them the hot water heater. We finally figured out what was going on. I'm not stopping you. You kind of are. Yeah, Tuck, you're kind of stopping him. I am too. Shoe shoes. I, I shoe shoes good. Yes, you do. Okay, I moved that cushion out of the way. Well, I guess I better explain myself better first. <laughs> Anybody notice my new uh, world-famous gold and silver pawn shop hat from Vegas? I lost mine about three days ago. Somewhere between moving out of Miss Gypsy into here, I can't find it. But that's all right. Miss Cynthia Ross... Uh, a subscriber, she saw how rat, ratty and tattered my hat must have been looking. And she sent me a brand spanking new one with an American flag. Isn't that neat? Fits pretty good, too. So it was, it, it was time. I was thinking about ordering one myself. And doggone if she didn't send it with me. Send it for me. It's a nice gift. Thank you, Miss Cynthia. All right, let's get back to this water heater. Now, I've had a lot of RVs. I had a Holiday Rambler tag along, 86 model, one of my first RVs, it, and it had a cracked hot water heater. Other than that, <clears throat> I really haven't had hot water problems. Hot water, not a hot water heater, a water heater problem. That's how we say it in the South, a hot water heater. But, um, so I was sitting here with Tuck. Yeah, yeah we were sitting here together and stuff, and my water pump started going off it went brrr. how'd that go dad not you too oh come on play play along it's fun how'd that go dad meow uh, yeah, yeah you're a good sport so first thing i did checked all my my faucets the ones in the bathroom the uh, outside shower still kept brrr. It was losing pressure. Now I thought, oh no, please don't be in all this insulated floorboards and walls and stuff. I'll never find it. So I was like, well, let's keep it simple. K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. So I was like, well, what can I see? Let's go look at what I can see. Well, I can see the hot water heater. Except for all this uh, styrofoam on it. But anyway, I got in here. And I can see water pooling up in that corner back there, the very far corner beside that bolt. Point to it, Kevin. I can't. There. So I got to looking and got to looking. I couldn't I couldn't find out where it was coming from. So I tore all this styrofoam off looking and looking. Felix came in here. He couldn't find it. So uh, I found an RV tech and he found it. And it was right. Da, 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 da. There. There's my crack. Can y'all see it? Too much glare. I can't see it now. Can y'all see that crack? Da, 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 da. Now, tell you what I did. That's the crack right there. What I didn't know. Atwood made these water heater tanks out of aluminum. Well, why would they do that? <clears throat> Thanks for asking, Kevin. I'll tell you. Because they wanted to stop corrosion on the inside of these things. Well, it makes sense to me. But aluminum can be brittle. Uh, they sell replacement tanks. But I had the idea, well, why don't we just get it re-welded? And the RV tech, he said, I got a guy that, that welds these up for me. It's been repaired before. Right here. I think these tanks are around, I don't know, 200, 250. And then you got to pay somebody to, to change it out. I've never done one. 
So <clears throat> I gotta have it re-welded and hopefully there won't be any more cracks for a while. The welder that looked at it, he said, it's not always freezing. He said, most I see are, he said, that's not right. He said, most that I see are frozen and busted. He said, but I see a great number of them that are stress cracked related. And he said, mine was a manufacturing flaw. He thinks or stress. I'm talking in circles. So anyway, I got to get up there to him this morning and get this thing fixed. Y'all want to go with me? Come on, let's go. Now, I'm not all too excited about welding inside of my RV. Only thing I, I think I'd like less is try to pull this thing out, weld it, and put it back in. So we'll be careful. I got to untether from Miss Gypsy, and we got to get going. Only got half an hour to get there. He's, shoot, Miss Gypsy's got enough solar. Run a couple rigs. Yeah, I am going to put solar on the Bigfoot. I just don't know how much yet. Or what brands for that matter. Now, I don't plug in that often. But if I did, this would make me very happy. Someone replaced the, uh, the cord with an extra long one. You got to love that. Warm up this gypsy. <clears throat> Added me a bubble side to side. Hadn't added the for well, the front. Hadn't added, added side to side yet. Y'all getting your spots. Y'all getting your spots. Make room for the queen. Felix is still sleeping. He was up watching movies late last night. So, we don't know if we'll get to see this video or not. I, I heard him, Daddy. He, he was watching Star Wars. How do you know that it was Star Wars? Martini. How did you know it was Star Wars? Because I, I like the Empire Strikes Back. I like them Ewoks. I, I think I look like an Ewok. I, I kind of look like an Ewok. I, I like Star Wars. Baby May May, where'd you go? I'm way back here. I like Star Trek. It's always, always one in the crowd, isn't there? What do you, baby May What, what do you like about Star Trek? I, I like. She, she's, she's not gonna be sweet on you, baby May No matter how hard you try. I, I, I like, I like Picard. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of like Picard too. Not that I get to watch TV anymore. Yeah, you're always stuck on that computer, Dad. You should really get out and do more. Thanks, Tuck. That's, that's all we do is get out and do. Put my cross on here with uh, zip ties. It didn't work. I gotta find something better. People have been asking me, how many miles to the gallon does the Bigfoot get? Well, I don't have to check it because the other owner kept very detailed records. Every time he'd fill up the gas, he'd write it down, write down his mileage. So I'm seeing nine to 10 for his averages. Pretty good for a 30 foot RV, E450. I had uh, one ton vans that were empty, just cargo vans, and all they got were 10. This got a lot more weight. Well, we're here at the welder shop. This sweet 59 Ford pick -em up truck right here. He said it's not his, it's one of his customers. Now, uh, I know how to uh, MIG weld. I went to paint and body school, North Georgia Tech. I know how to MIG, but with aluminum, you gotta use a TIG. I've never, I've never welded aluminum. This guy's done it more than once or twice. He said he's fixed a ton of these water heaters doing that. He's got him a, looks like he's got him a setup for either bicycles or motorcycles back here. Got him a track for his kids. Got him a couple Dodge Power Wagons. When's the last time you saw one of these on the, on the road? 
there was a video I saw the other day that had a, a Hellcat engine in one of these. Very well done video. I'll see if I can find the link. Alright, he said he wants to empty the water out of the tank before he starts. I already used channel locks on this to loosen it up. Blah, 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 blah. Got the babies put back there in the back so they won't get in the man's way. Get back to this sweet 59 right here. Uh, I'll be honest with you, it's not my favorite body style for Ford. I uh, I prefer the 49s to 56s of those styles. Every now and then you'll see a a real, uh, real nice 59 panel. She's on, she's on the way. Who can afford a new pickup truck these days, right? For a half ton 4x4 Ford, what are they, $60,000? I think we're going to see a lot more trucks being restored, put on the road. I've been thinking about what I said in my clips. First I said that this caused it and that caused it kind of thinking out loud while I'm talking, making the video. I honestly don't know what caused it. But I think I got the right guy fixing it. Okay, let's show you what we got done here. Not we, this welder. Very talented guy, nice guy. There's his, there's the new weld right here. So uh, I put the cap back on the the drain plug, I put it back in on the other side and we filled it up with water and we're heating it and uh, we're not seeing any more leaks. He said this is the first one he's ever welded inside an RV. He said he had to make two or three passes over it. He said that he was getting some uh, impurities from the inside of the tank and getting into his weld a little bit. But he says he feels pretty confident about it. Isn't that a pretty weld? He can throw down some nickels, can he? So let's hope she holds. Well, <clears throat> well, we've been running it for about uh, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, I believe we got it. You know, it may last five minutes, it may last five years. I went and uh, put the styrofoam back on the best I could. That'll hold for a minute. I think uh, I think we've done all we can do. Well, I think we fixed it. A uh, guy's name's Gary. Top top shelf guy. Teaches uh, auto mechanics at the high school down here. Half a day, several times a week. Good, good man, good man. May last five minutes, may last five years. But it's better than what I had. Very reasonable on the price. I think that makes the video another one. So I'm going to end it right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Oh, yeah. I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ is my Savior. You guys take care. Bye.